Hi everybody, welcome to my show, Close Encounters of the Blurred Kind, episode 12. So y'all, I know I said I was getting off the apps, but I'm sorry I got back on them. It's tough out there. It's tough out there in person to meet people. Um, and so there was one guy that we matched, both musicians, seemed cool, wanted to talk to me pretty quickly. As soon as we got on the video chat, he was doing the love bomb thing. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, I can just tell by looking at you, you're, there's something very special about you. You're obviously an intelligent woman, very talented. Now, all of those things are obviously true. <laughs> but he didn't know that, and so, Anyways, um, all the love bombing, red flags, and I'm thinking like, this has happened to me before. And I was like, all right, well, we'll see if he keeps on saying this. And I met him on Wednesday. He was very insistent that we meet Thursday. Now, I wasn't feeling Thursday because I wasn't feeling so great. I said I wanted to meet him Friday night. He just kept insisting on Thursday. Now, even if I wasn't feeling so great, it doesn't matter. If somebody's meeting you for the first time, you should be, I think waiting two days is not a big deal. Like what am I, a FedEx ex kind of a service that's like next day delivery just because you meet me and you're ready? No, so he was very pushy about it and just kept saying, oh, um, you know, I'll give you tea, I'll rub your feet, and it was just like, no, like that's not appropriate for the first time that we meet that you try to just come over into my location, that's not, uh, no. And he's like, oh, I'm not one of those guys. And I said, look, I can tell you every single person says I'm not one of those guys. There's not ever the guy that says, oh, I'm going to try to take advantage of you and I'm going to keep trying to push against your boundaries and I'm going to try to give you some kind of a drug. Nobody ever says that. Everybody says the exact same thing. So, um, you know, from my perspective on being safe and having somebody actually try to roofie me once in which I left unscathed, luckily, no, you're not coming over here. And why are you being so pushy? And is this what you're doing to everybody? So I didn't say those things, but like, no, patients, good, you know, good things come to those who wait a day more than the one day. Um, so then, mm, fast forward, I take his picture, I share it amongst a group of women that I'm in a support group with. And um, we're all talking about difficulties with dating. That's what we have in common. And well, there were many different responses in recognition to his photo. And reviews ranged from as mildly as he seemed very off to he was requesting lots of sexual things to he was demanding nude pictures from some women showing up outside of their work unannounced, um, unwantedly, to also um, rushing people into sleeping with him and him accusing them of having an STI the very next morning after sleeping with them for the first time, <laughs> leaving many women feeling uncomfortable, um, mild list to very disturbed and perhaps concerned that they might have an STI from him. Otherwise, why would he be accusing them the very next morning, right? It seems awfully quick to start developing symptoms hours later, right? Um, and the topper was that he didn't have his own place, despite him saying he worked in the um, healthcare field. He lives with his brother, which is fine, but the topper was really that he's married with two children and somehow the authenticity about the job is not quite there. So all of these things I found out from the support group and so needless to say I had canceled way before I heard that whole list that I explained. I had canceled really after me just posting um, the in the support group the my concerns so you know what are you gonna do 
there's still all of these predators out there of sorts. And I just can't believe anything that anybody says. Now my old roommate, Mark, who's like my big brother had said, Sam, the way to do this is very simple. They just need to be saying, You're, you seem really cool. I wanna keep hanging out with you. Let's keep hanging out. Anything more than that, like, oh, I'm gonna be in love with you. Those should be red flags. Anything less than that, not showing interest should be red flags. It really is as simple as that. But for whatever reason, well, here we are still filtering on through. So look, it's a numbers game. We're going through these. We're on the second season, episode 12. Think about all the stories I haven't shared. It's just a matter of time. Um, yeah. And again, I'm not looking for the end all be all. Just somebody cool to connect with every now and again. You know, it doesn't have to be this like fantasy, perfect story, Prince Charming situation, yo. Like somebody just cool who has the act to get, I'm not getting into the list, yo. Um, I'm, so I'm going to dinner tonight with my girlfriend. She's really cool, the karaoke lady that doesn't do karaoke. And we're just celebrating life and not having to deal with fools that have a whole bunch of lies going on. So thanks for letting me process.